It was about 8 p.m. in Mandarari village of Kunduga local government area when villagers had gathered in a local film house like they do every other evening that the first explosion was heard. In the ensuing confusion, a second explosion followed, which injured many panicking villagers. Two girls and a male accomplice had snuck into the village for this mission. The second girl was unable to detonate her suicide vest as the explosion from her accomplice killed her. Around 8 p.m., we were here chatting when we heard a loud sound. While we were still observing and thinking of what to do, some people rushed to the scene and another explosion went off. That is where people got injured and others died. So we helped to evacuate some to hospital and took some home. Even me, I lost my brother. We have buried 29 so far and at least 50 were taken to the hospital. Some officials have also bemoaned the obstacles encountered by emergency officials in line of duty to try to carry out their responsibilities. Most of the dead cases were as a result of low, very low facilities at the local government hospital. So we are now calling on the government to improve, the, to upgrade the hospital, put more facilities, etc. In case cases like this do happen, you cannot reach Medjugorje because of security reasons. And if you stay here, the facilities are not up to date. So the main issue now is one, the government should improve the facilities of hospitals at local government level and then also to talk with the security so that I will get access. The governor, Babagana Umara, has visited the survivors evacuated to the Medugri Specialist Hospital where he expressed concern about insufficient facilities in the health system. He notes that there is a need to strengthen the health system to complement the contribution of donor agencies. You may not know what will happen. We are not afraid. Apart from the support we are receiving from the donor partners, we must strengthen our system to respond to such emergency cases. Some of the injured have been referred to the University Teaching Hospital in Meduguri, while those already stabilized have been discharged from hospital. Why not?